How do you feel about other influencers that walk in the footsteps of you, but I feel like miss, or maybe they don't miss. I kind of want to like ask you, how do you feel about like the Aiden Rosses, the Sneeko, Zerka, all of these people that kind of walk in the realm of where you want, like Neon is one now. Like, how do you, how do you feel about these gentlemen? I think they're all different people. I don't pay attention to any of them. Um, I know something about, I think, I mean, I don't want to insult anybody. I don't want to talk about anybody negatively. Zerk is a clown. <laughs> I mean, dude, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not laughing because it's Zerka thing. It just caught me so off guard. Listen, I'm not going to talk shit about anybody. I'm going to be very respectful. But fuck that guy. <laughs> okay, Zerka. I mean, I'm just trying to be honest. I, I don't, I, I understand your question, but I don't see myself as similar to any of them. I think that. Oh, thing- no, I never said you're similar. I think that they're trying to uh, recreate your formula. Oh, it's yeah. like the Krabby Patty formula. You know how Plankton's sitting yeah. around being like, how do they do it? And then they're trying to do it, but it's not really working. Yeah, but out they lack them. substance. They have no lessons to teach. They have no life experience. They are clowns. And when you're a clown, you embarrass yourself for other people's entertainment. I mean, I don't want to. Aiden, I know well. Sneeko, I know well. Are you close with Aiden? Yeah, I speak to him quite often. Okay, I, but that, but Neom, Neom, or whatever his name is, he's a clown, and Zerk's a clown. I don't want to insult him too much, but they're, they're just children being, stup- being stupid. And, and I think that as the world devolves into insanity, people are looking for solutions and answers, as I said earlier, which I can provide. They can't provide that because they don't have the life experience or the intellect or the capability. So all they can do is provide cheap entertainment at their own expense. When you're a clown, you embarrass yourself for other people to laugh. Yeah, and it's and the Joker effect. Yeah, and and it's, it's a completely different subsect. But I do feel like there are some people who are trying to follow in my footsteps, and imitation is certainly the is flattering. flattering. It was always going to happen. There was always going to be people who were trying to be me. But, but there will always you be one top G. So it is what it is. They're just highlighting the more um, insulting version of you than they are. Like they're not. They're they're they're. Your, your, your method is punch, here's the knowledge. Yeah. And they're just punching yeah. for the clicks. I, yeah, and I think there's thousands of people and there's probably thousands of influencers I've not heard of who are probably doing, trying to do something similar or to come to my formula or say the same kind of things. And yeah, that, that's probably- Who are you closest true. with? You know like what? social media realm. Is it Nelk? Is it Aiden? Is it who, who, who does somebody you relate to and you could fully have a conversation and enjoy yourself? You know what's interesting? The Nelk guys are super cool. And I've met a lot of guys and Aiden was cool. I've met Aiden, met Sneeko. But you know what's actually really interesting? I- don't talk to anybody. I, and I, I've realized this. In fact, there was a conversation about this inside the war room a few weeks ago. And we we're talking about how a lot of influencers cross pollinate for views and stuff, right? They like, oh, I'll do a show with him and he'll do a show with me. And then we'll go to his house. We'll do a show there. And blah, blah, blah. Podcast is obviously different because it's a podcast show. But outside of podcasts, I don't meet anyone ever. If I, I, I can get a million views with me and Tristan in our home with an iPhone. I don't talk to anybody. So I don't have conversations with anyone. I don't meet anyone. I'm far away. I'm in Romania. I can't leave. I don't really want them to come here. I don't want to entertain them. I'm, I'm quite isolationist. And my friends are the same friends I had 20 years ago. I don't have any new friends. I don't talk to any new people. I don't know this because they're necessarily bad people as such, but I just think we're on different paths, different missions. Like I genuinely believe I'm waking up and trying to make myself the most excellent version of myself. I have the same standards for the people I love and my children and my family and my women, and I have the same standards for my fans. I don't want any fan of Andrew Tate to have ever lost in any realm. This is the thing that's interesting. I see these other influencers, right? Let's say these other influencers, some random influencer comes along and he sells some random garbage, a crypto, and the crypto loses a bunch of money, for example. I couldn't sleep at night knowing that my fans lost money because of me. Yeah. I, couldn't, I, I, don't, I don't want money that bad. I would rather all of my fans say, you know what? You can say what you want about Andrew Tate, but since I listened to him, my life has only gotten better. Nothing bad has happened to me. I go to the gym. I feel better. I feel motivated. I feel happier. I'm, I joined his school. It costs $40. It was cheap. I'm making money now. What's there bad about Andrew Tate? Every single thing he, he told me to do benefited me. And I really think I'm on this path to excellence. And when I see all these other influencers, and I don't want to say names, and I'm not throwing shade, and I'm not trying to start internet beef, because that's what they're going to try and do, to try and get clicks off my name, because they're not relevant without me, and I don't give a fuck about any of them. Just don't name them. Just, yeah. All these people, what they're doing is, the way they're acting doesn't inspire anybody to be brilliant. Going in the street and yelling like an idiot, running around with with half-naked girls and being entertaining and doing all this garbage they're doing. Nobody looks at that and goes, I want to be a better man. Mm. At at all. They look at it and they might laugh. Yeah. They might think it's funny. It might get views. Entertaining, no substance. Yeah, it's no substance. And that's why I think my brand is quite unique because it's very substance-driven. And the reason my brand is so substance-driven 
is because I've had such a difficult life. I wouldn't be able to tell and teach the things I can unless God's put me through so much shit. I've been through a whole bunch of things so that I can teach and tell the world, look, you can do this this way and life will improve. You can be this kind of person and your life will be better. But I think all these other influencers or whatever else they're doing, I think they're largely a part of the problem. I would like to think in other nations and other cultures, and I don't know, but let's look at China, which has an insulated internet. If they have a brain, and I've heard this is true, I don't know if it is, but they make sure that their algorithms, the people who become famous are musicians and mathematicians and engineers. They don't allow their algorithm to promote the idiots because they want the youth to be inspired by people who can do math extremely quickly or play the violin. I've heard about this. Great. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Now, it is the Matrix to a degree. Of course, it is censorship and it's governmental control. Yeah, but we're doing the same thing, but promoting the opposite. We're promoting insanity. So then you go down the rabbit hole. Why? Who? What's the end goal? Why do we want children to, to wake up, go on their phone, and tune into a stream of some geek loser screaming at the top of his voice in public? Who is doing this? Why are we trying to dumb down the population and permanently distract them with absolute garbage? Because I I truly believe that is, you, you talk about God and we talk about faith. To be a disciplined religious person, it, the word is discipline. It requires discipline. It takes discipline to read the Bible. It's not going to be screaming kids. It's not going to be flashing images. It's not going to be as entertaining as a stream with 30 naked girls. No, you're going to have to sit down, pay attention, read, focus, reflect, try and find the lesson in the parable, get confused, read it again, ask for help. You're going to have to study. That takes discipline. As we're destroying the new generation and removing their ability to focus on anything, removing their ability to be disciplined, you're taking them from God. Most of these children today are so messed up from TikTok, they can't even focus on one page of a book, any book, because all they do is scroll. Have you ever seen someone on TikTok, how fast they change video? Yeah. Their minds are gone. You well, can't even sit them down and teach them anything. Inside the real world, students learn about practical artificial intelligence applications. Learn the latest in artificial intelligence and how it's impacting business today. Learn how to create any design, website, or video with artificial intelligence tools running as your co-pilot. We also teach e-commerce. Learn how to profitably source and sell products people use every single day of the week. Sales, business, finance, marketing, investing. We'll even teach you fitness from world-class trainers. Why be rich and weak? Rich nerds are still losers. We'll teach you how to be rich and strong. You join a community with dozens of real-world professionals ready to share their life experiences, ready to share the techniques they use to make money and share the wisdom they have used to navigate the obstacles of life. Education is important. You must learn things. But traditional education is out-of-date information which cannot help you overpriced purposefully to keep you in debt, to keep you a slave. Traditional education is designed to create people who can build yachts. But the real world is designed to create people who will buy yachts. Which one do you want to be? Welcome to the real world.